Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your April 2018 reading. It's a general reading. It won't resonate with all Geminis, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. All right. All right, so let's get going. I'll say the announcements till the end. All right, so we're going to start out with Gemini love. What's the messages for Gemini? The love messages for Gemini. Love messages for Gemini. Queen of Swords, you come right out. Come flying right out. Wow, all these cards. I'm going to put these back. They come back out. They were meant to be there. All right, but that was way too many. Queen of Swords, you're cutting out what no longer serves you. You get, you get into the truth. You get into the root of the matter. The Queen of Swords wants peace by way of moving away from what is unnecessary, what doesn't serve her, what she doesn't serve also. All right? The Ten of Pentacles, the Moon. Some of you might be cutting out an established family life established relationship maybe due to the fact that there's a lot of secrets that there's a lot of unknown here there's a lot of half truths you just don't know which way it's going um things feel or seem fishy to you oh wow but there is a connection here the two of cups cancer pisces scorpio Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, we got Pisces here. There is a connection. The, the basis for all of the energy is the, the connection that you do have with someone else, the mutual love, understanding that you do have for or with someone else. The recent past, let's look at the recent past. What's the recent past? All right, okay. The recent past was... Seven of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Immediately I heard that the recent past, there was a new start with the Ace of Pentacles, but it was it was based in deception. So it was like a new start for you or someone offered you a new start, a new foundational start. This could be moving in together, taking a relationship to the next level getting engaged, buying a home together, doing something really foundational together. But it was based in deception anyhow. It was based in someone not um, being completely honest. What's the present energy from my Gemini? It's the present energy. Present energy. Okay. Present energy is Temperance in reverse and the three of cups. Some of you are out of whack emotionally with dating someone or you're out of whack because there might be a third party situation. This could be so many different things. You, you're There's no balance within you. You're, you're kind of up and down. And dealing with someone else could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Sagittarius. Uh, you need to find balance. Uh, there is no balance in dealing with uh, a, a particular person, a particular uh, situation. What's the near, the near future? Near future for Gemini. Yeah, there's no balance here. Near future is Eight of Swords. So some of you feel mentally trapped. You keep going back to um, the negative thoughts about said situation. This could be romantic. This could be business. This could be friendship. We did ask for love. Love is universal. It could be with family members, friends, uh, romantic partners. Um in the recent past was the seven of swords this could be you gemini or your or a partner you're dealing with or someone else um 
A new start's based in deception. So it's like, yes, you either offered someone a new start or some or vice versa. But it was it was based in maybe not the best intention with the seven of sword. I'm hearing it was to appease some of you. Hmm. Alright, so now you're feeling stuck. You're feeling trapped because maybe you, you accepted this new start, but it wasn't real. It was it was false. Alright, what is Gemini's power? What what could Gemini control in Gemini's power? Gemini's, okay. The nine of pentacles. You control yourself, you control your own independence. Um, gain it back, get your power back. That's your power. Um, if being single uh, by way of being in a relationship is what you need to do, or if you need to separate, if this is business, if you need to separate from a company or or some other entity, a business partner, it might be that independence is the route to go. What's external to you is the Queen of Wands. From excuse me, for me, when I see the Queen of Wands in a love read. With this type of energy. This is the other woman or the other man. She's very attractive. She's a seductress. She could be an entrepreneur. She's charismatic. She's or he. People are drawn to this person. Um, it's external to you. This could be your partner too. You know, your partner is all of those things. Or the person that you came to the reading for. You know, that could be that person the queen of wands uh this is typically sagittarius um it could be sagittarius leo aries your hopes and fears what's gemini's hopes and fears gosh these cards just keep five of wands Of course, that is a fear. You don't want to be in competition anymore. You don't want to be arguing anymore. You don't want to be frustrated, mentally conflicted. The outcome is the lovers, is a choice. The choice you have to make to stay in this or walk out of it. This is you. This is the Gemini card. Uh, what will you do? Are you going to choose to... Be independent and free, the Nine of Pentacles. Or are you going to choose to stay? Uh, this might be a love affair. And then we got the star on top. Some of you could be dealing with another Aquarius, uh, another air sign, which is an Aquarius. If not, you need to engage in healing, healing of the soul on a soul level. Um, someone hurt you really bad. You need to engage in healing. Because the star comes after the tower. The sun, nice. You need, so if you're dealing with an Aquarius, it might be positivity here. You might want to foster, cultivate that relationship. If not, then this is healing, restoration of the soul. You need to heal on a soul level. Uh, because you've been hurt. You are hurt. You... It's not the Two of Cups relationship. It may have started out to be. Some of you are cutting out established relationships. Maybe because they were started on faulty ground anyhow. Okay. So that's the love reading. Let's do some. Let's get some. Pull some cards for career and finance. What are the messages for career and finance for Gemini? Career and finance for Gemini. Career and finance for Gemini. Career and finance for Gemini. Career and finance. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Nice. Eight of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Nice. So whatever you're doing in your career and finance, you're working really hard at it. It's the money is good. Your money is solid. It's stable. It fulfills you kind of on a on a emotional level. Also, um, there might be some messages of 
from superiors or coworkers that you're doing a really good job, uh, that you're much appreciated, you're valued. The Fool, some of you could have started a new position here with the Fool um, in the, the foundation. Uh, you charted a new path, new development. This might even be a, a completely new career for some of you. In the past, there was the Ace of Wands, yeah, so there was a new creative start. Some of you can work with your hands also. You can work in a creative field. Uh, this new start, it was definitely something that it, it's, it, it ignited something in you that was either dying or dead. In the, out, uh, in the present is the Two of Pentacles. You're weighing up the pros and cons of this, especially if some of you started something new. Uh, two of Pentacles. Uh, there's, there might be a lot of juggling with this new job or new business. Juggling between yourself and personal and business and or career. Some of you might travel for work. Some of you, it's just a lot to do. Going forward, Five of Swords, there's some change. There might be some indecision within yourself or uh, inner conflict. There might be outer conflict, too. Uh, five of Swords is winning, winning at all costs. And your power is the lovers. Nice. External to use the Ace of Pentacles. Get two new starts. I really feel like there's something new starting for you. Um, there might have been some indecision about what to start new here, but there's something really... External to you is the Ace of Pentacles. So this might be an offer coming in for my Geminis who are looking for jobs or looking for more stability uh, in, a, in a job or starting something new. Hopes and fears of the Six of Wands. Getting that recognition, that promotion that for some of you is well-deserved. Um... The outcome is the Three of Cups. Nice. Celebration. So it looks like for some of you, definitely in career. And then the sun at the bottom of the deck. Positivity. And then the star. Um, nice, nice, nice. Wish fulfillment here. Some of you, your career and finance is going very, very well. There's a little indecision within yourself. You might be juggling. There's a lot of work to do with the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and then the Ace of Pentacles. You're doing something on a creative level. It fulfills you on that level. Uh, the money is good here. There's lots of recognition from the public, from, from your peers, from people in, in the field. There will be celebration here. It's really, really nice. This is a really good read. You have a decision to make. or This is just you showing up in your own power, your own power of uh, that duality, that, yeah. You um you having that twin power. You know when to turn this twin on and that one off and, and so forth. That's in your power. And it looks like it's working really well for you. The six of wands and the eight of pentacles. And then the three of cups. Nice. This that's a really good career spread. A lot of work to do, but it's definitely paying off. All right, let's get you some words of advice. Okay. What should Gemini be concerned about going forward? All right. That's what's going on with my computer, guys. All right, three cards of advice for Gemini. Three cards of advice for Gemini. What should Gemini be focused on going forward in the month of April 2018? Three cards of advice. Okay, one, well, sorry. Self-care. Yeah, worry about yourself. You got the nine of pentacles in both spreads, career and love. Worry about self. Self-care. Put some care into yourself if you know that you've been neglecting yourself retirement health care change nice heavenly signs at the bottom 
of the deck. All right. Self-care, retirement, health care change. For some of you, this, my more mature Geminis who watch, um, you are concerned about retirement. You are concerned about, um, for some of you, how can you make retirement happen sooner than, you know, what society says retirement age should be. A lot of you need to be worried about self right now. You have, you're worried about everything else and everyone else. You're really on edge about maybe a romantic situation. Um, and you are not putting the time and effort into yourself. Um, and that's not just the outer in, uh, appearance, you know, um, but it's the inner self-care also. Um, are you praying? Are you are you spiritually grounded in whatever you, you know you practice or whatever you believe in? Um, are you taking time out to to declutter your thoughts? I think we did have the Eight of Swords, right? Retirement also talks about a change in the hours, the number of hours you you work. Uh, so for some of you, you might be at a place where you can now work part time because money is good or money is solid is stable um some of you are thinking about self-employment also um going to the next phase in your career sector healthcare change self-care healthcare change um i'm hearing that there may have been a lack of health care uh and then under heavenly signs we have dietary change some of you really need to be conscious and cautious of your diet, uh, what you what you consume, what you eat is what you are. You know, if you eat a lot of junk food, then essentially you are junk. Mm, I don't know. Um, be conscious. Uh, try to create a healthy balance. You know, we all slip up. We all have our little. Um, you know, our little things that we like to partake in when it comes to consumption. Uh, so be very cognitive of that. Um, healthcare change pops out when some, some of you need to go to a physician and get a checkup for whatever reason. Only you will know. Uh, you need to be worried about yourself. You're too worried about another individual that just keeps coming up in my head. You just completely consumed with another individual. It's for some of you, uh, worry about self, self care, health care change, retirement. So I hope that these messages resonated with you and dietary change, change your diet. If it did resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, Request a personal reading by emailing me to rowofl at gmail.com. Choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. Follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. Everything you need to get in contact with me is below. Uh, thank you once again, Gemini, for tuning in. Uh, I'll see you guys in mid-April. Take care.